It says in Romans 5.17 that we are to reign in life as kings. When God looks at us, he doesn't see us defeated, barely getting by or just taking the leftover positions, not at all. God sees you as king. He sees you as a queen. You have his royal blood. This may be, you have his royal blood flowing through your veins. You and I are supposed to reign in life and not just for two years or four years that you say, but in life, we are all destined to reign in our lives. Yeah, it's, it's so good. And those many are some good words. Mm, those are some good words. They're just not true words. They're just not biblical words. Would you like to know what Romans chapter five, verse 17 actually says? Let's take a look at the inspired word of God. For if by the transgression of the one, that's Adam, death reigned through the one, much more those who receive the abundance of grace, forgiveness of sins, and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one, Jesus Christ. So we kind of forget about the Jesus part, and then we take reign to mean that we're going to be kings and queens. Seriously, Oprah? Seriously, Joel Osteen? Available at Wretched.tv. All right. Got it. Sweet. Drive by church history. Okay. I right, got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The big events of every century, 1 through 20. So you, you learn all the big names, the Luthers, the Augustines, or Augustines. When did the false teachers come in? You won't forget the big events. Seriously? Dude. One. Hey. One. Hey.